What's the correct body language to have when meeting people? Strong, confident, and I think present. And when I when I say present, it's really it's really important that when you're with someone, you're not just standing up straight and having good eye con contact. You're giving them presence. You're, you're there with them. You're in the moment with them. You are listening intently to what they say. You're nodding. You're giving the energy of, I'm here with you. I think it's very powerful, and, it, and it's hard to define what it looks like, but to be very present with somebody, to ask them questions that compound on the things they said, or even asking them, hey, I don't explain that, tell me more, and then just like lean into them and be with them fully, without the phone, without the noise in the room. Even if you're at a table with somebody, I'll give you a good example. The other day, I'm sitting at a table with Baron Trump, Patrick Bed David, both the guys from his pod, uh, a member of Mar-a-Lago, and Colby Covington. And me and Colby are talking about his day-to-day -day routine and how in tune his body is. And by the way, if you don't know who Kobe Covington is, he's an incredible human being. I mean, salt of the earth dude, humble, killer, amazing guy. Anyway, talking to him about the training and everybody else at the, at the table is having a conversation, but I couldn't even hear them because I was so locked into what Kobe was saying. And I think a lot of times people make the mistake of only halfway listening to somebody, but they're sharing oftentimes something about their life with you. And regardless of who the person is, if they're sharing something about their life or their situation or how they go about looking at the world or whatever it may be, it's deeply important to them. And so if you want to connect with them, it ought to be deeply important to you. And some people and most people are often only listening so they can say what they want to say to impress the person. But if you really want the person to like you and feel like you value them, you should be listening intently to allow them to build on and go deeper into the things that are important to them. And so at that table, that conversation was happening, but in my world, it was just me and Kobe talking about what it takes for him to be great at one of the, honestly, probably the hardest sport in the world, and that's fighting in the UFC. So um, you'll also find that you can learn things from great people by really, really listening to the details. Because if they're talking about something, even though they could go deep, sometimes they'll be surface level for a second. And that's where you can ask, stop them and ask them, hey, can you explain that to me? And then you go down this rabbit hole of getting this deeper understanding about a subject that you might not have caught if you weren't listening completely and you weren't completely present. Being present with people really matters. It not only matters in like networking, it matters to the person. And I think they remember it. And for that reason, they remember you. And so try to do that the next time you're meeting somebody that you want to have a pure connection with, an honest connection with, just be completely present and use those things to make sure that your presence is the highest level. I think it'll help you a lot.